My name is Tori Reed. My class is 19. <laughs> no, I'm an ogre eight. So I'm gonna let them do the calculations. <laughs> Make them work for it. <laughs> I'm from Virginia Beach, Virginia. It's where I went to high school, Kempsville High School. I was a transfer student actually. So my experience was slightly different than coming in as an incoming freshman. Um, I previously went to North Carolina Central. It was not a good fit at all. And so I transferred here. My parents went to Norfolk State. And so I came back to the area, but I decided to come to Hampton because it just felt right. I came, I saw, I felt, and this is where I belong, so. Hmm, that's a good question. What made it, you know, sometimes it's, it's really inexplicable. I always go off of feeling, I go off of uh, instinct. When something feels right, it's just right for me. And for me, when I came on campus, there's magic. I always say there's magic at Hampton. There really is. And um, you just kind of have to feel it. You have to experience it. You have to live it. I don't know if it was because it's on the water, why we call it our home by the sea. Um, I did have family. One of my closest friends was already here. So that added something special. Um, but I don't know, it was just, I came on this campus. I'd always gone to Norfolk State throughout high school, Foreman Field. I have love for Norfolk State. My parents went there. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them meeting at Norfolk State. So always have love for Norfolk State, always went there throughout my high school years. But here, it just felt like where I belonged. I don't, I don't know how to say it other than that. It was just a feeling. It's just when you know, you know. And so I will say this, um, as far as what made it different for me, I will say something slightly different, which may be coming up next. My experience here, and I was so blessed to be able to tell uh, President Harvey, who was our leader while I was here, but I was able to tell him I fell in love with black people, our people here on this campus. And I've always, love being black, wouldn't change it for the world. But as far as learning about our people, learning about our history, our past, our strength, our perseverance, our magic, our beauty, that all happened here on campus. So my love for Hampton, I think is rooted in that, and my appreciation for it. Well, I will say this, I had a summer uh, with media productions. And Walt Walker was in charge of it. Uh, another Hamptonian who is filming this, Franklin Fitzgerald, he was a part of that. Um, Kelly Harvey, President Harvey's daughter, Soma Otis. There was a group of us that summer that really prepared me for leaving here and going to LA because it's it's, you know, if you don't go to a film school that that's all you do and you're out there and you're shooting films and shooting shorts and doing all that, you can wind up in Los Angeles, which is the heart of it all, and realize you're way behind because they have this equipment, this software, you know? And so for me, it's, I always say to people that are, you know, mass media, mass comm majors, it's gotta be practical experience. You can't read about production, filmmaking, what have you, in a book. You gotta actually do it. You gotta pick up a camera, you have to shoot. And so that summer with media productions, that's all we did. Walt, you know, our supervisor would say, okay guys, go over here. There was like a hot dog uh, fast food chain. I'm sure they're long gone, but he said, go shoot a commercial for them. So we went with the cameras and we shot and he would say, okay, now edit it. And it was actually something that aired on Hampton, I mean, in the city of Hampton. And then there was Hampton Viewpoint, which was the news show. I was an anchor on that. And, oh my gosh, like that was new. The world of news is a whole nother thing. That's just too high octane for me. But I remember ready to pass out 
every time before they started recording. But just that experience, doing that practical, you know, hands-on experience, go shoot this, edit this, put this together. We were shooting family reunions, anything and everything that needed to be shot that Walt knew of, we were shooting. And so to me, that's really what prepared me. It was uh, departments like that, people like that, assignments like that, um, that actually got me to the point where I could go and have a reel. Because I always tell people, when people ask me my advice, have a reel, because you're competing with the people that came out of NYU, AFI, you know, if, if, if uh, filmmaking is your area of, of interest. So the more competitive you are, I think, and relationships will get you to where you want to go. So, um, so that that really prepared me as far as in my field and what it is I'm doing. I do think it's important, um, and it's something that I'm a little late doing, and it's something that I need to do more of. Um, I think more than anything, yes, I know money is, is, is very important, especially to HBCUs, but I think mentoring, spending time with, giving some, I don't know, tips, pointers, pearls of wisdom to students, spending time with them, um, giving them any guidance, kind of coming back and saying, this is what I've learned since I've been doing X, Y, and Z. And so I know I enjoy that. I need to do it more. And I, I enjoy connecting with students. Um, one thing I refuse to do is uh, be this jaded sort of person that's like, oh my gosh, it's so difficult. No, I want students to remain as hopeful, fresh, you know, because it's funny. It's like, for example, um, being in the business or being around it as long as I have, in my mind, I know not to just go to Ava DuVernay or Steven Spielberg's door and knock on their door or try to sneak on the lot and get to them and say, hey, I'm looking for da 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 da. In my mind, it's like, you don't do that. But I want students to think you can do that because the very one who thinks it can get to Ava DuVernay. You know, it's like, I. Try. so when I tell people kind of like things that I've learned, how I've been taught. I'll leave out certain things because students now, your generation, man, it's it's just your mindset is different. Like y'all are about to take over and turn it out and <laughs> turn things right side up the way they need to be. Because my generation didn't do it, you know, but your generation will do it. So all I try to do is just give information to just kind of empower you as best as you can. So with that information and with your mindset that my generation didn't have, you know, our, my generation, I always say we stood around, if we saw something, we were like, ooh, you know, they, uh, ooh, they about to get it, you know? <laughs> but we didn't per se do anything, you know what I mean? Uh, for the most part, and don't get mad at me, Gen Xers out there, but that's just kind of how we responded. Y'all are like, no, grabbing torches, ready to like throw bricks and, you know, y'all step aside, y'all, you know what I mean? And, and so I think like that with information and experience, oh my gosh, I'm just excited to watch it all. I'm making my sound, self sound very old right now, but I'm looking forward to seeing what is to come. And as well as working with, like I have been, and this is one thing I have to say, oh my gosh, I'm really talking a lot. But this is one thing I have to say. I have been working with a few students. I'm trying to find Hamptonians to work with. I've worked with students from Norfolk State and from Howard. And in dealing with those, oh, and USC. But dealing with those students, and I tell them about the things we're doing, the shows we're doing, and the first thing out of their mouth is, okay, so how much am I, either how much am I getting paid or this is my rate? And I'm thinking, okay, they've been doing this for how long? And, th and that is the one thing that I wish I could say, I, I wish I could get students in your generation, I sound like my father, oh my gosh, but 
<laughs> I wish I could get, oh my gosh, this is awful. But I wish I could get your generation to understand that having all those things listed on your resume and all that experience equals money. Credits equals money. Like you have like a, I don't know, a Leonardo DiCaprio or Viola Davis, they'll take a hit with their salary, but they want a producer credit. You know what I mean? Because they know the power and the money comes from that credit, not the actual dollar, so to speak, you know? So, yeah, so it's like, but that's the one thing that when I talk to students, they're about that money, money, money. And I'm just like, no, to be on your, like, again, back to media productions. It was about the real, it was about the resume. At that time, I couldn't put on my resume, I did a show with Felicia Rashad, or I did a show with, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Walter Mosley or whoever. I didn't have those names or that experience to put on my resume. But you have names on your resume and then go out to compete. That means something. And so, and it's not that I don't want to pay students, it's not that, but it's like, I just really want them to understand that, you know? Because if you lead with money, you're missing, you're missing how, how it is, you know, how things work. You're missing, you're missing opportunities if you're gonna just try to get money, you know? You can work wherever and get, you know, money if that's your thing. But to me, it should be trying to get the experience. Okay, I'm gonna try to sound young again. Okay, next question. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, from where I sit now, I would say take a blanket and go sit by the water and just do your homework. Why didn't I do that more? Go hang out with the Emancipation Oak. Like that is mind blowing history. My thing is, I didn't, I knew all these things were obviously here, were here when I was here, but I didn't realize the value, the depth, the legacy while I was here. <laughs> see, <laughs> see? And so I would try to get them to see that now and understand that now and appreciate it. And then I would also say, don't rush things. You know, it's like when you're a college student, what are you trying to do? You're trying to get out of the dorm. You're trying to graduate. You're trying to get a car. You're trying to live off the yard. Man, if I could go back. Oh, boy. You know, it's like, and just slow things down and be in the moment. And like, it's like the only job you have to do, unless you have to have a job as well, then you have two jobs. But it's just to study just to learn, just to grow, just to evolve, to take your time. It's like to rush. What, Man, once you're an adult, you are, you're always an adult. There is no going back. So to me, I think college is like the perfect mix of you're out of your parents' house, but you're not in the real world. Let me pay bills, got a monthly nut to make, da 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 da. You know, either I'm creating opportunities, getting a job, whatever it is. It's like, man, you got football games, step shows, a C to study by, relationships to be had, breakups and heartache. If you're gonna fall out, fall out by the sea, but just enjoy everything. Like that. that is, it may sound silly, but I think that would be the advice, just to take your time, don't rush it. You know, take it all in. And even then, doing that, 10 years, 10 years later, 15 years later, you come back and you'll, you'll see things that you didn't appreciate. Like we're in Ogden Hall. I mean, I've been in this hall, I don't know how many times, but it's so magnificent to me today, more so than it was when I was a student. You know, the history on this campus is, is it's unmatched the history, you know? I know, I know. That's why I was like, I could tell a freshman this, but they, that's what, but at least if, at least if I could just say, just do well, like get your work done, but party, 
Like, have fun. Like, blow it out. Responsibly, but <laughs> blow it out nonetheless, you know? Yeah, and learn as much as you can. Like, like I said, like things that are going on, try to get as much, take advantage of everything that Hampton has to offer. Yeah. Instagram, I'm not active on Facebook at all, but my handle is I am Tori Reed, T-O-R-I-R-E-I-D. And well, how else they can reach out? I mean, email, I can say my email. Oh, read <laughs> last name, first name at gmail.com. So R-E-I-D-T-O-R-I at gmail.com. Hamptonians only. Hamptonians only. Well, Norfolk State, some Spartans can come through. Yeah, but you know. Two Spartans. <laughs> That's right. Thank you so much.